Hey guys, it's Kelsey, and this video is going to be mostly a, I'm going to talk about a subject, and it's going to be a chill video, and I may do some stuff in the background on RuneScape while I'm just talking about it. But a lot of people are like, um, have mentioned that they have a main account and they're interested in starting an Iron Man, but they're not sure if they should waste all the time they've spent on their main playing Iron. And I'm here to try to kind of solve that question and explain why I decided to make an Iron Man and why some people will decide to do it um, from what my friend's perspectives is on why they switched to Iron Man, whatever. So I'm going to go to the pros and cons of each and try to go in full depth. And really, at the end of this, it's just a matter of preference and there's no right or wrong and there's no one better than the other. So let's get started. So, um, first we're going to be talking about the pros. I'm going to try to do the pros. I'm probably going to mix these up knowing me. But, um, so, for Iron Man, it's significantly rewarding. Because, you know, you, you can't be given supplies. Um, you can't really get anything from anyone else in the game. That being said, you can't have a partner for bossing. You can't have a partner for tanking. Because if the boss has tanked three hits you don't get the kill if anyone else has touched your monster you don't get the kill you can't buy like an elijah from the general store if someone sells in it really quickly because you can only buy buy things in the general store that are only stocked by the game for example buckets chisels things like that and a lot of people don't understand that about iron man you also can't pk someone and get their loot there's no way around it a lot of people don't understand the concept of iron man um, and that is, it's significantly rewarding because of that. Every little thing you earn is on your own. For we can see my bank. This is not given to me by anyone. This is all gotten on my own. And that is extremely satisfying. Now, the con that goes with being a regular account is that the items and the money can be given to you. Which is really nice because you're able to trade your friends and it's great it makes it an mmo but for example when i came out that i was a female and i had friends and i didn't just role play my male character anymore um a lot of people were starting to give me a lot of money especially when i started streaming this was before my youtube channel before my iron man and so a lot of money and items were given to me and that ruined runescape for me um because you know, it's just like, I bought 99 Farming, not 99 Farming, I bought 99 Fire Making before Winter Talk came out. All these things, I was, I didn't earn on my own, I, I did from money given to me, and a lot of the skills are viable, for example, range, mage, construction, um, fletching, crafting, herbler, smithing, cooking, fire making, farming, there's so many skills that are viable, and if you get, money from your friends it's really easy to get quick skills and it just doesn't feel like it's earned on your own um but one of the things i really want to talk about main account is the nostalgia you know it's it's a huge deal because runescape never had iron man prior to i believe after 2013 um i could that date is probably wrong what i'm trying to point out is that runescape was when I was a kid only had a main account, you know, only had a regular account. So, and actually in terms of everything, since I've been playing since I was nine, even though I have 130 days played on my Iron Man, roughly, give or take, I haven't checked, which is a ton of time. It's like a quarter of a year played into this one account. I've actually played longer on a main or a, whatever, people call them mains, but it's a regular account because the nostalgia from when my childhood was a main it was a regular i didn't even know what iron man was most people still don't because there was no such thing as an iron man that's not how runescape was played now it comes out with this new harder game mode with um just a different style of playing um for people who basically want to earn everything on their own so that's definitely a pro and a thing to think about of a main account is the nostalgia that is what runescape started with it that's is what runescape is trading people you know marching even the horrible scamming like that's all the nostalgia when you were a kid so another great thing about iron man is that you you learn a lot from the game i have learned so much more on iron than i would 
a regular account. I mean, completing all of the quests, every little quest reward is so meaningful compared to a main account. You have to learn how to make stupid things that, like a pie. You know, you don't go, you can't go on the Grand Exchange and buy it. You know, you have to learn how to make things on your own, so you learn a lot. And, for example, making a bullseye lantern, things like that. And so you become a lot more educated in the game. So it's definitely an advanced game knowledge. You learn a lot. Um, and with a main account, you can get by with not learning much. You know, um, you don't have to learn much. You just have to pay for skills and do a little bit of combat here and there. You don't have to do Slayer. You know, and... And uh, on Iron Man, you don't have to do Slayer either, but you need it to do, get your whip, your trident, to get all these really high-level content and great things. You have to open up your Slayer. On the main account, you could completely ignore certain skills, and you just don't learn very much. You learn a lot more when you're forced to do it all on your own. Um, this is a benefit and a fault, okay? So with main accounts, the great thing is you can merch, you can stake, you can trade your friends, you can do all those, the, you, can go, you can do all these great things in the game that an MMO was meant for. As an Iron Man, this is a big con, is you can't trade, you can't stake, you can't, um, you know, do anything that a normal account can, which is interacting with other players that includes bossing. You know, I think this isn't, you can raid with other people. In fact, on my Iron Man, I have like 135 raid count, kill count, but you can't split the drop with them. They can't split the drop with you unless they do it in bonds. You know, so that's a really hard thing is that you're sacrificing a lot to not play with other people. And this is an MMO. Um, the great thing about Iron Man, though, is you don't have to worry about scammers in trade i'm not talking about like account scammers you know you could click a phishing link and still get your account hacked i'm talking about you know you do not have to worry about trading someone and getting scammed or doubling your money or going to the duel arena and getting scammed there because you're not trading or interacting with other players um the only way you can really lose your items if you die in the wild or if you drop them so that's really great and people are like okay only dumb people get scammed that's not true i bet you someone watching this video actually many of you have gotten scammed from trading or dueling or whatever and i'm telling you right now um you don't need to be stupid to get scammed or you just need to be a newer player. And even advanced players just fall for it, you know? And it's just, it is stupid, but at the same time, it happens to so many people. They get scammed, they lose 13 mil, their friend's account got hacked, and they said, if you give me 50 mil, I'll give the account back, and they get 50 mil, and that guy doesn't give the account back. It's just, there's just so much into it that you can get scammed, okay? Iron Man, you completely avoid the trade scams. The account scams are different. You have to be careful and really smart on that. Okay, and now I want to talk about um, bossing on Iron Man. This is a big fault. is a pain. You know, you can't have your friends. Bossing is super fun because you can camp a boss for a long time and split it and talk on Discord with your friends and really get into it. Iron Man, you're, you have to solo boss, and solo bossing is very difficult. You know, soloing Bandit, soloing Armadillo. And I'm saying for the average player. It's, you have to learn to get really efficient and good at it with the best methods. It's an advanced form of RuneScape, and it's not how the game was made, was to solo everything. Now they're coming out with advanced gear and all this other stuff, and so it's easier. But that's the thing, is if someone tanks, the boss three hits, you don't get the drop. If someone hits it and doesn't know you're an Iron Man, you don't get the drop. Even if they're just tanking it in the room, you don't get the drop. It's a pain and extremely aggravating, so, especially when you've done like you've been there for hours. Okay, and the great thing about a main account on bossing, it's so friend oriented and it's so fun. You can stay up all night long bossing on runescape with your friends and you can do so many great things with your friends and you don't have to worry about earning everything on your own you know and it's more of a group effort type thing even the grand exchange has its own economy runescape has its own economy and why is this guy crying okay he obviously isn't one defense either i don't think yes he is anyway 
beside the point. Okay, uh, another disadvantage of Iron Man, I'm kind of going back and forth, is it takes a very long time to make gains on an Iron Man than it would be to make gains on a main account, guys. Um, so, for example, if I, I probably would be far from maxed on my main if I did not quit my main to play Iron Man. Far from max. The amount of hours you have to put into crafting to get 99 crafting is four times the amount if you were to buy it off the Grand Exchange. It's insane. Prayer is a whole nother story. Herbler is a whole nother story. Ruin crafting is a whole This game is a whole other story on Iron Man, and the games are very slow. And a lot of people say, I don't have time for an Iron Man. That's not true. You just don't want to go through it. Because I have a very busy life. In fact, I'm leaving for the beach tomorrow. I'm going to be gone for a while. So I wanted to make this video to put on my channel. But that doesn't mean I don't make time for RuneScape, being a full-time student and working and all that. You know, you play at your own pace. Don't care about your friends or anyone else. If you want to play Iron Man and think you enjoy it, but you don't have much time, just start it anyway and play it on your free time. Play at your own pace. Every little gain will feel great. So the whole I don't have time thing is an excuse if you really want to start it. Another thing, though, about the main account, which is really satisfying and great, the gains are really quick. A lot of stats, if not more than half, are buyable. And therefore, you can get 99s really fast if you have the cash in game. If you buy the cash, which is illegal, don't do that. And Jagex is not cool with that. You can get banned for that. Um, or if you buy it through bonds, you can do it that way. Um, your friends give it to you. You stake it. Whatever. You can get it maxed pretty darn fast. Now, skills that you can't max fast would be like mining, agility, rune crafting, things like that. But a lot of these are very easily buyable. Okay, and therefore you can max probably three i mean this is just personal opinion this is not exact but from playing a main even more so than an iron and playing an iron for about 130 days i would say you can max a main three to four times faster than an iron man and that's harsh but the truth but many people don't want to wait five years to get maxed I have a friend that's played three years and is nowhere near max on his Iron Man. I have played for a year and a half and I am nowhere near maxed on my Iron Man. The amount of time and hours is nowhere near. It looks good, but it's nowhere near relevant to max. Okay, and I probably won't till about three years, but that's fine with me. I love the game style. It's cool. Many people don't got time for that, don't want that. They want the games here and now, and they want to be the best. I'm telling you guys, you're never going to be the best because the people who are in max in this game are pretty much, they don't have a life. They don't have to work. They don't have to go to school. They stay at their parents' house and are taken care of. Or they have RuneScape as their job and they get really lucky like Bodhi, like Wooks, and they make a ton of money off of this game and have the entire day to play it because they get paid to play it. And... That's why they're so high up in the rankings is because they can do it. Most general average people cannot do that, guys. So don't play to be the best. Play because you enjoy it and everything will come with it. So I guess that was my pros and cons between a main account and an Iron Man account. And, you know, it's, it's a very interesting concept. I even wrote it down. That's so nerdy. But it's like a lot of people are like, yo, I was thinking about making an Iron Man, but I don't know. Completely up to preference. I have a friend that is ranked number like 300 in the game and is a main account. Max with like some 200 mil stats, um, too many 200 mil XP gains and some skills. And like he loves his main account. He loves the nostalgia. He loves RuneScape. And he is far better than any Iron Man I have ever met. And he could easily make an Iron Man the next day if he wanted to and make it like amazing within a year. He just doesn't want to. You know, he loves his account. He loves that it's Max. He's going up in the ring slowly over time and he loves that. And I'm going to give out his name. It's BNFF Online in Game. That's an example of a good friend of mine 
who has a main account is an, an, a tremendously just smart player that knows way more than most Iron Men. So I think it's wrong for people to be like, oh, you're an Iron Man, you think you're cool, or Irons to be like, oh, he's just a main, he's not that good. It really is complete preference, guys. If you want to, don't not start an Iron Man because you feel like you don't have time for it. Don't not start an Iron Man because you feel like you've wasted time on your main. We all waste time in video, what is time? We're video game players. We waste so much time on games. And also I want to say, if you don't like Iron Man, who cares? Play your main, have fun with the game, and truly it does come down to preference. But I hope this kind of like opened up to the difference between the two. And I didn't mention Hardcore Iron Man because really the only difference between Hardcore Iron Man and Iron Man is that once you die, you become a regular Iron Man. So you only get one death and you just lose your rank. And then Ultimate Iron Man with the steel symbol or like the white symbol, I guess, is you don't have a bank. And it's a very, diff it's probably the most difficult gameplay in the game and the slowest gains ever. And I don't personally enjoy it, but, you know, on the most part, it has the same aspects of an Iron Man, except removing the bank, which is twice, five times more difficult. But you get the idea. I wanted to stick to the two main points and... I really thought this was a great video, and I hope this answered some of y'all's questions. I get this all the time, all the time, and I thought this would be fun, and I hope y'all have a great one. If you enjoy this video and you're new to my videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more uh, videos in the future, and give a, a like if you enjoyed um, what I had to say, and if you have any comments or I should say positive comments or anything that you would like to add, please feel free to put them down below. I love reading comments and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.